Unity uses C# -sharp as its primary scripting language. C# -sharp provides powerful features for game development. Let's create a new Unity project and name it Unity Scripting. Let's create a C-sharp script in Unity. In the Unity editor, go to the project panel, create a new folder to put all the scripts inside. Name the folder Scripts. Open the script folder, right click, create, and choose C-sharp script. Name the script Rotate Object. Note that the naming convention for Unity script files is Pascal case, where the first letter of each word in a compound word is capitalized. Double click the script to open it in the code editor. Note that we installed Visual Studio in part one of this course when we installed Unity. However, you can use another editor if you prefer. In my case, it is Visual Studio. To include the code in the game or app, we need to attach it to a game object. In the Unity editor, select the game object you want to attach the script to, or create a new game object to hold that script. Let's do the latter. In the hierarchy panel, right click and select create empty. Give the new empty object the same name as the script, rotate object so that we could easily recognize it. Drag the script from the project panel into the new game object to attach it to the object. Select the object and check in the inspector panel to see if the script file appears there. If not, drag the script into the game object again. Sometimes the script file cannot be attached if there is an issue with the script. However, in this case, we didn't even change the script yet, so we know the script has no problems. A typical Unity c -sharp script file contains the following structure. Using statements. Here, statements consist of using and a namespace to allow you to import a namespace. Think of a namespace as a collection or a library that you can get useful things out of, such as functions that help you do different things. To access functions that belong to a particular namespace, you will need to import the namespace through the using statements here. Class declaration. A class is a unit that contains a combination of data and methods inside. To declare a class, we use the following. Access modifier which determines the visibility. When you add public modifier in front of something, it means that it can be accessed from any other class or object. Soon, we will learn about private modifier, which, you guessed it, it's only accessible within the same class. Next, we have the class keyword, which is used to define a class. Then, we have the class name, which should have the same name as the script file. Here, we have inheritance, which is optional. The colon sign indicates that the class before the colon inherit things from the one after. Our class, rotate object, inherits from mono behavior. Mono behavior is something specific to Unity. A class in Unity should inherit from mono behavior. Mono behavior is base class in Unity that provides a set of common functionality for your scripts. Then we have opening and closing curly brackets to define the beginning and ending of a class. The content of the class, usually variables and methods, are inside between the opening and closing of the curly brackets. Start and update methods are default methods in every Unity class. We will go over them in the next lesson. To recap, in this lesson, we learn how to create and attach a script file and the default structure of C-sharp file 
in Unity.